Coming of the King 25 Readings for Advent by J.C. Wright Compiled and edited by Mary Davis and published by tenofthose.com Hello and welcome to Day 10 of our Advent readings, Good and Faithful Servant. Today's reading will be from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money at work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold bought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering when you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed? Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him, and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them, and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. We learn from this parable that true Christians will receive an abundant reward in the great day of reckoning. It tells us that the servants who had used their Lord's money well were commended as good and faithful, and told to enter the joy of their Lord. These words are full of comfort to all believers, and may well fill us with wonder and surprise. The best of Christians is a poor, frail creature and needs the blood of atonement for every day that he or she lives. But the least and lowest of believers will find that they are counted among Christ's servants and that their labour has not been wasted in the Lord's service. They will discover to their amazement that the Master's eye saw more beauty in their efforts to please him than they ever saw themselves. They will find that every hour spent in Christ's service and every word spoken on Christ's behalf has been written in a book of remembrance. Let believers remember these things and take courage. Their cross may be heavy now, but the glorious reward will make amends for all. Here some drops of joy may enter into us, but there we shall enter into joy. Let us leave this parable with a serious determination by God's grace, never to be content with a profession of Christianity without practice. Let us not only talk about faith, but act. Let us not only feel the importance of believing, but do something too. We are not told that the unprofitable servant was a murderer or thief, or even a waster of his Lord's money, that he did nothing, and this was his ruin. Let us beware of a do-nothing Christianity, Such Christianity does not come from the Spirit of God. To do no harm, says Baxter, is the praise of a stone, not a man. Let us pray. Jesus, my Master and Lord, save me from do-nothing Christianity. 
Fill me with your spirit to empower me to serve you today. Everything I have comes from you. Help me to use what you have given me until the day when you return. Lord, I long to hear those words. Well done, good and faithful servant, and enter into your joy. Amen. Amen.